I'm on your yokai. One's appelled. You smoking, I think? Yeah, good luck smoking for the plant. Smoking 90? No, not finger, you can kill her. She's a. She's reverse planting a, to, by the breach. That's she should smoke. be smoked out. I can see four, I can see four. Stop I'm pushing, I'm pushing pillars. This, this kid's still on the repellent. They might dead, the fuse are down. Fuse down. One the fuse are down in train. One repel in train. Okay. Yeah, one in train. Two all back in. He's dead? Last one on the repel? Yeah, last one repel. Hey, what's going on guys? Tim D here from Disrupt Gaming, and today we're going to be going in-depth on how to play Smoke. I'm going to talk about the loadout that you guys should be running. We're going to talk about how and where you should be positioning yourself throughout the round based on what the attackers are doing, as well as how to utilize your smoke as efficiently and effectively as possible. So if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future videos. Let's get into it. All right, so let's get into it. So the first main point that I want to talk about is positioning. Positioning is probably the most important thing when it comes to playing smoke because you want to know where to play so that you can utilize your smokes the best, you can win your gunfights more, and everything along those lines. And that solely relies on what the attackers are doing. So a question you need to ask yourself every single second of the round is, what are they doing? What are they doing? Okay, they're doing, you know, they're opening this wall or, you know, maybe they're pushing this side of the map. You want to know so that you can rotate some utility, you can reposition yourself somewhere so that you're far enough away that you won't be one of the first people getting into a gunfight, but you're also close enough that you can throw your smokes or you can play close to the site where you can actually get a trade with your teammates or anything along those lines. But before I get into that, the reason I told you guys to play the shotgun as your primary is because as a smoke player, you're going to be making all the rotates in the site. You're going to be making rotates, lines of sight, impact trick holes, everything. Like every single hole that you think you need in the site, you're most likely going to be the one making it. And anyways, let's get into it. So as an aviator objective, the typical attacks that you would see is a study take or a master take. So we're going to talk about two hypotheticals with those two attacks and what you could do in those situations to kind of, I guess, play smoke better and what sort of positions you should put yourself into. So with a study take, a lot of the time at the higher levels, you would see a rotate hole right here. And this rotate hole is used on both of the attacks, but... Let's just talk about study for this case. So you're going to be having that rotate hole and then you place a shield at the top of the main stairs. You can either place it right where I did at the top of the main stairs right at this half wall or by the arch right here. And what you're going to be doing in this situation is you're just going to waste time. You're wasting time shooting drones, wasting utility and leaving. So what they're going to be doing is they're going to be pushing study. They're going to be pushing underneath you. Going to try to get, you know, the bar, burn your ADSs, all this stuff. So you're just going to be wasting time shooting a couple drones and then you're going to leave reinforce the rotate hole that you made and go back into sight so all you want to do is if you ever feel like you're in a situation where you're going to die where you're going to get naded where they're going to pop your shield where you, you know you just feel like threatened basically if you feel like you're in a situation where you're going to die that's when you leave because you don't want to die in this situation because this is it's really good if you can waste all of this time, shoot, you know, shoot drones, waste their utility, and leave. Because at the end of the day, as a smoke player, if you're alive at the end of the round, that's where you're going to be most effective because your smokes waste so much time already. So moving on to past that, so you play top main, you waste enough time, you back off, you reinforce the wall. You got to think, what are they doing? Like I said, what is the attackers doing? What's their plan? Are they going to go for this wall? You know, are they going to ignore this wall and try to go into aviator and plant that way? Or, you know, maybe they try to get this wall and they try to plant behind the bar. What are they going to do? So you're going to, you've got to play it by ear and see what's going to happen. But let's say they try to open up this wall. Where should you position yourself? What's the best spot to use your smokes as well as stay alive and win more of your gunfights? What, what should you do? So in my opinion, what I do is I go to play vault because vault is a really safe spot you could smoke the aviator door you could smoke the breach if it does get open you could even smoke the game's door from here all from one safe spot and you're not going to be in like multiple crossfires if you're peeking if you're going to get a smoke out here the only spot that they could see you is this door if you're going to smoke the breach the only spot they could see you is from the breach if you're going to smoke this door the only spot that they could see you is from this door so you're not you know giving yourself up to multiple angles and dying from an angle that you're not expecting so in this situation if they do open up the wall, you're playing in vault, you can smoke any of these situ these spots or these entry points, and they're they're all the entry points that you need to worry about because if they're doing a study take, they may come top red 90 and like push the aviator door in the back, but these are their three primary entry points to the objective. And at this point, if you wasted enough time at the top of the main stairs and you have your three smokes in hand, 
at the end of the day, they probably have 45 seconds maximum, maybe a minute to try to get the execute onto the site after they open up the wall and burn some ADSs and clear out, you know, any of your teammates playing in the site. You still, they have like 30 seconds at that point to try to get a plant down and your smokes can waste and last up to 30 seconds. So you want to be able to utilize those at the end of the round because they're so useful and so important to clear choke points, uh, kill, you know, or just deny the plant, kill the player that's trying to plant or anything along those lines. So I'm going to move on to the next attack that we're going to talk about and that's going to be the master take. All right, so we're going to move on to the master side take now. And like I said before, you're going to be playing top main stairs. It's a really good spot to play anyways. And this is, you're playing this just because you want to prepare for a study take. If they're not going to push study, then obviously I don't recommend playing top main as heavily as you would if they're doing a study take. But you want to place the shield here still anyways. And let's say for the first 30 seconds, 20 seconds of the round, they're not pushing study. You know they're pushing master, you have a teammate's calling that out, or you have info or something along those lines. What should you do? So this shield is useless at this point because they're not pushing study. They're not, you know, going to hit the ADSs or anything like that. So what do you want to do? You want to move and rotate your utility. You want to move it to a spot where it's going to be a little bit more useful. So in this situation, half the time facing it towards 90 hole is great because even though, you know, you might have like a teammate playing in 90 at the time, once it kind of gets later into the round, they're going to get 90 control. It, you know, unless you're able to just win out the gunfights, they're probably going to get 90 control. And if you have the shield here, you could still play this rotate hole, keep it open, and you could smoke 90 hall from here, as well as throughout the round. In my opinion, that's the best spot to play as a smoke player, because as if you make these lines of sight, I could smoke 90. I could still smoke the aviator door. I just smoke it from here. And half the time they try to do an aviator plant just because that's the quickest and safest plant based off of like what sort of control they have of the map but as you can see you could smoke this door you could swing out a little bit towards the pool table and if you're in a spot right here you can actually smoke behind the maps all the way at the back of the maps and if they try to plant behind the maps at that point they should be getting hit by the smoke like that and then also if they try to plant on the vault door you could actually still get a line of sight with the smoke as well i'll show you right here All from the safety of the bar. You can just get a smoke right at the top of the vault door. I kind of missed that there, but you throw it at the top of the vault door. And if they are right here, it's going to hit right there and smoke straight down. And if they're trying to plant, they're going to get hit by that smoke as well. But I, like I said, I kind of missed it there. But yeah, basically you want to position yourself throughout the round. What are they doing? They're pushing master. Okay, cool. Let's rotate some utility because, you know, if they're not going to push this out of the map, it's kind of useless. So we're going to rotate our shield over and we're in... Right here is pretty much the best spot, in my opinion, to play as a smoke player because you could smoke, again, all of their main entry points. Their main entry points is going to be somebody playing 90, for sure. And obviously, if they're trying to, be, they're going to go for a plant, they're going to try to go for a plant. You could smoke the aviator door, you could smoke the map, you could smoke the vault door. And even if, you know, let's say they do push study a little bit later, you could still reinforce this wall off and waste time there. Although, I don't really recommend doing that because a lot of the time, if they're pushing somebody, putting somebody's study... They're going to be lacking on the other side of the map and you know if they put more than one person there's going to be a hole somewhere so you still want to utilize having this rotate hole just so that you can kind of play off of that and also have the shield to kind of cover you from 90 in that situation all right so now that positioning is out of the way i want to talk about smokes when and where you should be utilizing your smokes and i've said this plenty of times in the video already as a smoke player you want to use your smokes as late in the round as possible just because again they're just way better to use later in the round. So if you do use it a little bit earlier in the round, it's perfectly fine if you have to, if you're forced to, if you know, if they're executing faster than you're expecting and you've got to use a smoke to kind of slow them down or something like that, that's perfectly fine. But if you can stay alive as long as possible and utilize the smokes as late into the round as you possibly can, each smoke lasts around 10 seconds already. So if it gets down to the 30 second mark and you still have three smokes, that's kind of a good sign to start throwing your smokes or getting those out try and you know make it harder for the attackers to get into the objective and for the most part you just want to utilize those obviously every single round getting your smokes out is very very useful so anyways i'm going to show you guys a couple examples to give you guys just a better understanding of it and then i'll kind of voice over what's going on throughout the round and just to kind of show you guys what's happening and why i you know use my smokes a certain way or why i didn't use it and you know so on all right so here's a smoke clip from a while back just to give you guys some insight the attacking team is pushing 
train and mining and they're trying to get the plant into dining and i'm gonna skip a little bit up here but we have info and we get a call that they're going to be planting or they're trying to plant here so what i'm going to do is try to smoke and the smoke is actually really bad in my opinion so i know it's a bad smoke and i want to reposition myself somewhere where i'm a little bit safer and i could actually get a more effective smoke onto the planter so a teammate died from 90 hall so i'm going to be aware of 90 hall with the presence that there might be somebody there and what i'm going to do is once we have another call that they're going to go for a plant, you see the smokes, they're going to start their execute. So I'm going to smoke 90. What that's going to do is force anybody that is kind of playing a little aggro on 90. That should push them back so they're not actually peeking. And then I could actually push up into the hallway and I could smoke directly where the plant is. So they're actually going to be forced off the plant. And at this time, there's 30 seconds left, 37 seconds left. I'm out of smokes, which it isn't the greatest i definitely should have saved that first smoke and used it in a better spot but 30 seconds left i see an opening to maybe make a play after i clear 90 hall here so what i'm going to do is actually push up towards mining and try to make the play and at that point we get the diffuser down and then i just play the diffuser with my life with you know 20 seconds left 25 seconds left they don't have much to do they have to push me out and at that point we're able to win the round out pretty easily but um i'm gonna go back through it again just to again go over it but this first smoke missed. I'm going to reposition myself because I'm not really in a good spot. I was getting shot at. The smoke was bad. I wanted to get to a better spot so I, so I can actually smoke that plant that they're going to be doing. So again, I smoke 90 because that's the only spot that I can get peeked from. So I'm going to smoke the choke point off. That allows me to push up a little bit further to actually get a better smoke. A, a smoke pretty much that lands directly where they're planting at. And then again, I see an opening and I'm going to go for it. And we end up winning the round. I'm going to show you guys another clip, though, so that you guys have some more information or, or some more examples of, of positioning and utilizing your smokes to the best that you can. All right, so moving on to the next clip that I want to talk about. The team is pushing the dining side to try to plant towards kitchen. So the shield that I have inside of meeting facing tower, I'm actually going to rotate it over to a different spot because it's kind of useless where it's at and I want to you know be able to utilize it in a better position so I'm going to pick it up I'm going to rotate it over towards left split I'm going to put it onto the doorway here and what this allows me to do is I can actually smoke the breach from splits in this instance so I'm going to shoot it at the wall open they're actually going to breach the wall right there and as you can see I could actually get a smoke all the way towards the plant spot that they're going to do um, on the like middle stack of kitchen as I start getting shot underneath the castle on the split double door but the first smoke is going to fly here because we have some info that they're going to start putting pressure on a site and it's a 3v5. So I kind of want to get that first smoke out just to make sure that they aren't pushing in off that sec. That first smoke, I'm going to actually reposition myself to a, a different spot so that I'm not kind of peeking the same angle. But I'm also able to kind of get info on the site myself because we're actually out of info on the site at this point. Um, or like where we don't have great info so i'm gonna actually throw a second smoke here i didn't know the thermite was going to be there in that instance but i was just going to throw a smoke at the breach because we were getting down to the 30 second mark i have one more smoke which i'm still able to safely throw from left split and this is actually going to get the thermite off the plant so he's going to swing into sight to try to take the gunfight although he's not able to win it out at the end of the day and it's 10 seconds left i'm all out of smokes i just need to play positioning here and try to win some of my gunfights so Sledge is going to drop from the hatch and kids, and then they're both going to swing into sight at that point, and we're going to win the round. So I'm going to go through it again like I did the last clip, and just to show you guys, it's a minute 30 into the round. They're not pushing tower side. So again, the shield, I'm going to rotate it over towards a spot that'll be a little bit more beneficial for me as a smoke player so that I could actually be super safe and smoke at the same time. We'll get it on the doorway here. We're going to get the wall open a little bit so it's a little bit cleaner of a smoke throw. And then at that point, we get our smoke off, the first smoke off towards the objective, kind of to slow them down. Because again, like I said, it was a 3v5 in this instance. So they might just start trying to get the execute onto the site. So I kind of want to slow it down and halt them so that we can kind of get into different positioning as a whole team. And then again, I'm going to jiggle peek again with the smoke ready because I was just honestly going to throw the smoke at the breach with 30 seconds left on the clock. So the smoke goes there, and I'm, again, going to reposition somewhere different because I don't want to repeat the same thing multiple times if I don't have to. So I reposition myself back to the other side where I can smoke again, and Thermite's going to get off the plant because he is smoked out. And at that point, the round is pretty much over. We just got to play our 1v1s and try to just play our positioning. And at that point, we're able to get the, or I'm able to get the two kills on the two guys left on the objective.
Anyways, guys, that is all for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did so, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well for future videos. We have videos coming out every single week. But anyways, guys, that is all for me. I hope you guys found this information beneficial. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, leave those down in the comments below, and we will definitely answer those. Bye, guys.